Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a 360 degrees video from your GoPro Max using GoPro app on your mobile phone. So first of all, let's connect our GoPro Max with our phone and download the file. Alright, so we just downloaded our video to our GoPro app on our mobile phone. So now let's open it. And if you want to enter the reframe process, we have to click it again. And from here, we can create keyframes and decide which camera angles we are going to use uh, throughout our video. So first, we can preview the whole video by clicking on the play button. And uh, while playing, we can already look for uh, cool moments, uh, for something ha cool happening or we can simply get the basic idea how the video gonna look like uh, without even editing. We can also stop it and if you take a closer look on the timeline we can also move on the timeline by just a few seconds um, just to get uh, a little bit more control and precision over what we are doing in our video. We simply have a little bit more control over the whole process if we do it like that. But let's go to the beginning. At this moment, let's click on a keyframe and let's click on this icon simply to choose the aspect ratio that we are going to um, edit our photo and export with. So for example, if we want to edit a video for YouTube, it's a good idea to actually edit our video in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This way, it's simply going to be good for watching on YouTube or Facebook as a simple regular 16 by 9 aspect ratio video. However, if you want to edit your video for Instagram, like uh, Instagram stories or Facebook stories, then it's actually a better idea to edit this video in a 9 by 16 aspect ratio, simply because it's going to take uh, more area of your screen, uh, so it's going to be simply good for mobile phones. So let's click on accept. Alright, so let me quickly show you how you can use the keyframes. So, for example, I'll play the video a little bit and let's say, I'll stop it for a moment, and let's say I want to start my video at this point. I'm gonna focus on a palm tree. So, I'm gonna hit a keyframe. I'll play this video a little bit and I'll stop it in here and I'm gonna focus the camera angle on us and I'm gonna hit a keyframe. Now please watch how smoothly that's gonna transition from one keyframe to another. Notice that 
because there is quite a bit of distance between one keyframe and another, uh, the whole transition took quite a while. Now, if I hit on that keyframe and I hit it again, I can move that keyframe to be a little bit earlier. So the closer I move it to another keyframe, the transition gonna simply happen much faster. So now watch what, again what's gonna happen. Now let's say I completely messed things up and I want to delete a keyframe, so I'm gonna hit on that and I can simply delete it. Also using two fingers I can zoom out or zoom in on the footage. I can also rotate or go with the camera up or down. Alright, so let me quickly show you how I'm going to edit this video. So I'm going to hit on play button because I don't want the video to uh, start just yet. I'm gonna hit on pause. I'll find a proper angle that I want my video to start with and I'm gonna create my first keyframe. So the software is gonna remember where the camera angle is positioned in the video on the timeline. So let me continue with the video and notice that I kinda left the frame. So I'm gonna create a second keyframe and I'm going to correct the camera angle. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna click on accept. Okay, now let's see how it looks like. Okay, that's much better. Okay, I'm once again leaving the frame, so I'm gonna create a third keyframe and I'm going to correct the camera angle once again, maybe zoom out what a little bit, because why not? I'm gonna hit accept and play. Notice that we are kinda talking to the camera and I want to, to have that moment in my video, I don't want to miss it. So I'm going to use my timeline a little bit to move back a little bit because on the timeline you can either go forward, this way you have a little bit more precision if you do that, or you can also move backward. So for example, I want to start shortly before we do that. So I'm gonna create a keyframe and once again, very quickly, another keyframe. So there's gonna be a very quick transition between one and the other. So let's say that's gonna be around that angle and I'm gonna hit on accept. I will let play the video. Okay, I will just correct the camera angle. Okay, so we just tapped um, that activity. So I'm gonna quickly create uh, another keyframe and zoom out to focus more on the activity that, that we are doing. Okay. And let's see how it looks like. So I'm going to move back on my timeline. Okay, so let's play it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's look good. Now, I'm moving my camera um, high so that's gonna look good for a tiny little planet effect. So I'm gonna create a tiny little planet. Let me just quickly show you how you can do that. So if I move my finger up and zoom it out, I'm creating a tiny little planet. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit, see, okay. That looks good. And I'm gonna hit accept and let the video play for a few seconds just so I have this uh, effect happening for a, a few seconds more. I'll click on, click on stop. And if I want that tiny little planet effect to take a couple of seconds, I need to hit on keyframe. Now, I want to, for example, quickly transition from tiny little planet to focus on whatever we are doing once again. So I want to focus on us. So I'm gonna hit on accept, let the video play. Okay, once again, I left the frame, so I'm gonna fix that and focus on us and the car. Okay, zoom out a little bit and hit accept. That looks good. All right. 
And since we are reaching the one minute mark, I think that's going to be long enough for social media, so I'll just leave it like that. But I'll just see how it looks like, because I did it very uh, quickly. Okay, I'll create a small keyframe in the middle, just to focus on us. zoom out a little bit here. All right, so that's gonna be that's it. Now notice that we still have plenty of video to edit, but we are not gonna do that. What we are interested is only the part that we created our keyframes for. So I need to cut it somehow. So notice that this icon in here, uh, little scissors, let's hit on that. And I want to just cut the part that I added. So I'm going to click on that, move back on my timeline, so I want to move back to the first keyframe that I created. So I'm going to move back on my timeline. Okay, that's gonna be the first keyframe that I created. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to click on this scissor icon once again. And only the part that's uh, selected gonna be exported. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with it and I'm gonna click on accept. And from here, I'm going to click on Done. I think it's very important to also save the draft in case you have some changes going on. Uh, for example, you want to fix something. It's always best to save the draft before exporting. Now, let's hit on the keyframe once again, click on Done, and render the video. And after a while, our video is going to be ready in the GoPro app. Alright, so once our video is rendered successfully, we can click on View Media. So let's click on that. And let's click on Play. Okay, so let's say that you want to share your video to your friends. So let's click on the small little arrow icon in the top right corner. And if you want to save your video to your phone, then let's click on that. But if you want to share your video directly to social media, such as Instagram or Facebook, or uh, even your Google Drive, let's click on Share Media. If you notice, at the bottom of the phone, um, we have some small icons like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and some other platforms. So for example, we can click on Instagram. And from here, we can directly post our video on Instagram.